In this video, I want to teach you how to use moving average for perfect results. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. First, you need to open your trading view. Today we'll be analyzing AUD, uh, Australian dollar versus USD. And then you go to four hour chart. The strategy can work on other time frame, but I have practiced it on four hour chart because it is more accurate on the four hour chart. So the first thing that you need to, to do is to add your moving average. In this, in this case, I will be using three moving average. I will use the 200 moving average. I will use the 50 moving average and I will use the 20 moving average. How do you add moving average in your chart? You'll go to that place where it is written effects. That place means indicators and strategy. Just click that place and then search for exponential moving average you'll get moving average exponential click three times because we need three moving average on the chart and then now the default number of the moving average is nine it's always nine so we want to change the nine to 20 because i've told you we are using three moving average so the first one will be 20 just change the nine on the input to 20 and then the style we make it red let's make color red then make it bold then we go to the other one, inputs, we change the 9 to 50, we make it black, let's make that one black, then we make it bold, then the last one, we are changing it to from 9 to 200, so let's change 200, style, let it be gold, then we change the bold uh, we make it bold so you have all the three moving average but i in this case i don't trade the crossing of the three moving average no this case is different i have a new strategy so what i do i hide all the moving average and i open my chart so in this case first of all the way i want us to use the moving average is to ask ourselves uh when you open the chart, what do you see? The first thing you need to understand which trend is the market or which trend is the market. To know which trend the market is, you just put your 200 EMA. So you need to understand if the price is above 200 EMA, the market is on, is a, is on a long buy. The market is an uptrend. If the price is below 200 EMA, the market is downtrend. So we just put the 200 DMA and we see where the price is. So in this case, where is our price? And because 200 DMA is very slow, before this market breaks the 200 DMA, it can stay months. So when the market breaks the 200 DMA, you know that market. If it does the other three things that I'll show you, that market can continue to go uptrend. So that's the best thing. You need to put the 200 EMA to know the trend of the market. So as you have put, so the 200 EMA, basically it will show you where the market is going or where the market is at, at that moment you have, you have found the, the, the market, you have opened the chart. So how do we use the 20 moving average? Because yes, you can use the 50 or the 20. When we use the 20 moving average, we want to look for entry. So the 200 EMA was for the 200 EMA was for uh, to know the overall where is the market is. The 20 EMA is for the entry. So if I put the 20 EMA, you can see them where the market is touching the 20 EMA. We can now place our buy trades. You see the market is at the 20 EMA. If you notice the market has broken, it is breaking the 20 EMA, that is when now we put the 50 EMA to see what is happening at the 50 EMA. So guys, basically, if you use the three moving average, it will tell you, it will give you a very, very clear direction. So I have told you, let me just write it for you. Uh, where is the text? So we'll just write here 200 EMA, EMA equals direction of the market. So don't never forget that that one is giving us direction. Then 
the 20 EMA because I use you can use interchange either 20 EMA or 50 EMA. There are those who use 20 EMA, there are those who use 50 EMA. The 20 EMA is giving you the entry and even showing you how is the trend. Is it very st the strength of the trend? The 20 EMA can give you the strength of the trend. So if you if you see the strength. If you see your move, your price holding being holded at the 20 EMA, that market is very strong. But if you see it is breaking the 20 EMA going to 50 EMA, the market is not strong. So the 50 EMA still it can give you direction of the market, but the market, the strength of a market, it will be uh it will be on an average so that's how you can use the 20 ma or the 50 ma so we'll just open and we'll just uh let me delete that and then and then don't don't and hide all the moving average like this it will confuse you so use each and every moving average at a specific time So I want us to test that strategy and we see how now you uh, how you get entries, how you identify the trend and the decision you make. I have told you, hide all the moving average when you want to do this uh, strategy. So we'll hide all the strata, the moving average. Let's say, for instance, this is how you have uh, found the, the market price. It, has, it is at this point. Uh, in this case, we we just want to know. Uh, we can see this one. Uh, this market has been on a downtrend, and maybe we are looking for a reversal of this market. So, how do you know that the reversal has happened? Uh, if you, if this this is the market that uh, you have found, it is downtrend, and you are targeting the market to come, maybe this zone. But what tells you that now the reversal has happened? I told you when you start seeing the moving average, the 20 moving average getting broken, even if the market is continuing, it means that market, the strength it is, the, the strength is reducing. So whenever you see the, the 20 MA getting broken on four hour chart, it's an indication that the reversal is about to happen. It has not happened yet, but it will happen soon. So for us, the 20 EMA here, it has broken. It has been broken three times. So we are just uh, waiting to see now uh, 50 EMA now getting broken. So you just put the 50 EMA. You can see already 50 EMA has been broken. Now we, we, we just play our video, uh, our playback. Let's let me hide the 50 EMA. So I want us to see will the market continue or will how when it touches again the 20 EMA, what will happen? So let's do the playback mode. Let's see what happens when it touches the, tw the 20 EMA. So it has touched the 20 EMA. You can see some rejection. Buyers are really willing to push that market. Uh, it is getting rejected, but you can see, you can see what has happened. Uh, the the twenty MA again. The that time it has been broken. You see, so the the reason why we we wanted to look for a reversal is the twenty MA can tell you how the trend is. A good trend or a, a very fast trend does not break the twenty MA. So when you put your twenty MA and you notice on four hour it is breaking the twenty MA. Just know a reversal is about to happen. That is number one. When now the 20 EMA is broken, we are not we are not even getting in a buy after it test. No. What we do, we now put the 50 EMA. Now we want the 50 EMA to get broken. As you can see, the 50 EMA is broken. Again, you're not quick to enter a buy because what? Here, the 50 EMA got the 50 and 20 EMA broke this price, but it went down. It continued to sell. Here, 20 and 50 got broken, but it went down. That's why I'm telling you, for entry or for, for, for me to enter, there's something I look and I look 200 EMA. So all I need now to do is to put the 200 EMA and I can I will be so sure if the market now breaks the 200 EMA, 
because here the market never broke the 200 EMA even if it was breaking the two, the 20 and the 50. So if the 20, 200 EMA is broken and it is retested, the trend has changed. So let's see what happens. So the market is approaching the 200 EMA. It has retested the 50. Guys, the 50 is the black one. The red one is 20. The gold one is 200. So the market is approaching the 200 EMA and it has reacted. Let's see if it will break the 200 EMA. So let's see if it will break. So until it has broken the 200 EMA, you cannot enter a buy. So that's the power of that moving average. It will it will prevent you entering a market when it is it is very very early. So there are people who trade the rejection of 200 DMA and they at they enter sell, but for us we know this sell is getting weaker because it has broken two moving average. We are waiting for the next one. So immediately the 200 has been broken. It, it has in an indication now we can look for buys entry. So we'll just wait for retest of 200 DMA and where will we be targeting? Where will we be targeting? Uh, we'll be targeting this area 74 or yeah, we'll be targeting 74. That's the area we target uh, when we enter a buy. So that's the area of interest. When, when we enter a buy. So we'll be targeting 74. So let's see if it retest and we enter a buy. So all along here, we never entered this re this reversal. Remember people, people start entering reversal even if they have not been confirmed yet. So let's wait for, rever for the retest of 200 DMA. It retests and that is it. So let's see. It has retested. You can see, guys, it has retested. Not only this market has retested, it has a very big momentum. So it is a clear indication that even if we enter this buy, the market will continue to buy. So at the end of the close of the candle, there are people who can enter immediately here because remember the market broke here. So for me, after the retest, I would have entered there so that my stop loss will be very tight and I will be and I will earn a lot. So because I have a, uh, I have a confirmation already. So let's play that and see what happens. So the market is coming again to retest, again to retest, again to retest. And the market went, it's going up, going up. And you can see now, if you see clearly uh, what it has done, even if we had put a very, a very uh, tight stop loss, it has not been touched because we knew in the beginning that the 200 DMA was broken. You see that stop loss was is very tight. You can see it is it is reacting now on 20 EMA. It is reacting on 20 EMA. Let's see what happens. The market is reacting on 20 EMA. You can see the 50 EMA, it has been left behind, but now the 20 EMA and the take profit is hit. So guys, basically this is how we trade moving average. Number one, let me just repeat. Number one, it's better to enter a, a market. If you want to, to enter a buy, let your price be above 200 on four hour chart. If you want to enter a sell, let the price be below 200 on four hour chart. After it has broken, you can see this big momentum candle. I just wanted a retest and I entered immediately with a very small lot size, uh, lot, uh, stop loss. And that stop loss was never hit, even if it was how small. And the market retested again. It went up retested again uh the 200 EMA and it retested the 200 the 20 EMA and the price was coming back to the 20 EMA so there were more entries if I was I, if I wanted to enter again immediately it touched here I would have entered the second trade so I'll be having two trades so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have understood something don't trade the crossover don't trade oh it, it crosses no just say if you open a chart let me just open like let me open 
usd card and i hide let me hide the let me just hide those i hide the 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 moving average if you open this chart the first thing that you need to understand is where the market is just put your 200 ema and you will see it broke the 200 ema so this market is very easy to trade because if you want to trade this market you just wait for retest of 200 ema and you enter a, a sell and then where do you target you target this zone you target this zone so moving average is very easy to is very easy so after it has touched you will now put your 20 ema when you put your 20 ema you can start adding in positions that's how we trade the moving average thank you guys for watching until next time bye bye